Hello everyone, so it's the moment you've all been waiting for. I had over 30 submissions for this, which I'm really surprised about because I wasn't expecting to get that good of a response. Unfortunately, some of the entries couldn't be entered because they didn't meet the rules and requirements of the challenge, but overall, the designs of all the submissions were just absolutely amazing, and it was very hard to choose a winner. However, of course, I could only choose the one winner. And just to reiterate something that I've said previously, unfortunately, I can't give individual feedback on people's designs. The simple fact is that if I did this for one person, I would have to do it for everyone, so Please don't ask me. I'm sorry, but it's just not something I can do. But now, the moment you've all been waiting for. As I said, it was extremely hard for me to choose a winning design, partly because I got so many submissions, and partly because all of the submissions that I did get were just absolutely amazing. It was really, really hard to pin down a single winner. However, one design really jumped out at me. It captured just the right kind of thing I was looking for. It met all the rules and requirements of the challenge, and it seemed like something that my previous doctor would carried around with him. So, without further ado, the winner is... Jess Edwards, who submitted her fantastic design by email. As I said, it really captured the right kind of thing I think my previous Doctor would have. Rather like my new Doctor's design is very dark with hints of blue, one of the favourite concept designs for my previous Doctor which I've done is very dark, it's greys, it's blacks, but with a hint of red, so this design really seemed to fit that idea. Jess also wrote up a little bit of info about her design which I'll read to you now. I wanted my design to have quite a dark look to it, but having to keep it silver overall meant I had to try and be creative with the darkness. I recolored segments black, similar to the striped sections on the third Doctor Sonic, and I also decided to make the emitter a non-metallic grey rather than a silver. But I wanted something else dark to go against the contrast between the silver and black. So after looking at several other Sonics, I decided to add in a bit of colour, similar to the white ring seen on the 5th Doctor Sonic. Having listened to your audio story as well, I thought as it was part of a machine, it might be slightly worn too. Unfortunately, I couldn't get a decent worn look on my finished design, so I will let you decide if you want to keep it clean as I submit it to you, or if you want to add some scratches and marks. Certainly an interesting design, however that is not the end of this, of course I promised to make it into a custom, so let's see what I came up with. And here is Jess's design as a finished custom. So, uh, as she suggested, I have added on some weathering because I agree with what she says that as part of the machine it will probably be uh, slightly used, slightly worn. And I get the feeling that the reason that my doctor used this part of the machine um, is actually because it was getting quite old. So I think the weathering certainly does work very well. Uh, the emitter head is just a uh, matte grey that I've used. And obviously I've used, uh, again, matte grey on the bullet point with uh, the screwdriver part at the end. Um, again, all matte black here. And this is just added on uh, striping with black paint. Uh, again, the red ring, I actually really like this touch because again, as she says, similar to the fifth Doctor's Sonic that had the kind of uh, white ring, I actually think that's a great place on these customs to add a little bit of colour to it because obviously, you know, we normally see colour on the emitter and um, again, I get the feeling that the emitter here, the uh, sort of matte colour of the emitter it's very like the third Doctor's Sonic, and in many ways actually some of the fourth Doctor's Sonics, that had, you know, a, a, they didn't have a, a metallic ring as such. It was more of a sort of matte colour. But I like the fact that the colours move from here to here because it just does add something that gives, it gives the design something a little bit different as to where we would normally see it, um, especially, you know, even, even as far as the eighth Doctor Sonic goes. You know, the ring was silver, but then the, the bullet was red, you know, and it was still sort of focused in that area. So I like I like the change that it's moved um, elsewhere. Unfortunately, this doesn't have any batteries in it at the moment, so uh, it doesn't actually work, but obviously it still just has the same standard noises, and obviously this under part here is still black. Um, but yeah, it's... The, it's an absolutely fantastic design. It's certainly something that I probably wouldn't have come up with myself. Um, so, you, you know, all credit to, to Jess for coming up with this. It's absolutely fantastic and it makes for a brilliant custom. 
And that brings to a close the end of my first challenge. I would certainly like to do more of these in future, but we will have to wait and see exactly what the future holds before I decide to do any more. For now, thank you to everyone that entered and thank you to Jess for this fantastic design. As a little side note, I would just like to say stay tuned for this weekend because I will be finally revealing to you all my current Doctor's Sonic screwdriver. So stay tuned for that. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, favorite, subscribe, share, it really helps me out a lot. I salute you all and I will see you with another video very soon.